Hey guys, it is the day after the unboxing and I sat down to edit the entire video and realized it is extremely grainy So I wanted to pop in here and apologize for that I don't know what I did wrong But I almost just threw the entire video away and so many of you on Instagram said just upload it anyways So here it is. I hope it is still enjoyable and you still get to share in the excitement with me um, But yeah, I just wanted to really apologize especially if you're new to my channel my quality is usually a lot better So all right, let's jump into the video are you guys excited? I'm so excited right now. We are going to be opening up my little Chanel purchase. What's today? I got back on Tuesday and it's already Friday. This is how long I waited to open this. I went to the location on uh, Rodale Drive. I went to LA for the first time, which was so exciting. I got the opportunity to go uh, with Avino and they just released like a bunch of new hair products. So they invited me out there. It was so much fun. I did do a little bit of vlogging and that vlog is live on my channel. So the link will be here or up here somewhere on somewhere on the screen if you guys want to check it out. Uh, but here is the beautiful Chanel box. She did such a beautiful job wrapping it. So here is the first part of it, the little camellia flower. And there is the beautiful box. And it did come with a dust bag. I love the new dust bags that they have. They're like really, really smooth. Here it is. There's the gorgeous chain. Oh, the receipt is in here. I bet you the sales associates. Oh no, this is not the receipt. Oh my goodness. Ah, you guys, I cannot believe I actually waited so many days without opening this. Oh my god, I forgot how beautiful she is. So, um, this is a wallet on chain, and this is the iridescent pink that came out for the spring summer. I'm gonna have to do some um, different shots for you guys, and maybe like some sunlight clips so you guys can see the true color of this. It's absolutely stunning. Uh, so, yeah, I was telling you guys, I first saw the collection on my friend Steph's page. She went to the same exact Chanel boutique not too long before I went, and she actually got like so many beautiful pieces from this collection. But she was telling me like how in person it's just absolutely beautiful. And um, when I got to the Chanel boutique, I knew I wanted a wallet on chain because I wanted one for years. And I always talk myself out of it because I tell myself that I need something bigger. And I feel like I have a very I'm very happy with my collection right now. I have all of my basic neutral colors and larger bags and I really wanted something to just like commemorate the trip so I decided to go for the wallet on chain. When I got there I asked the sales associate to show me all the wallet on chains that she had and she first only showed me like the seasonal stuff so all the colors. This wasn't even in the tray that she showed me um, and then I asked her I was like well let me see your classics. So she showed me her black and like um, beige and all the classic colors and there was one that I actually really fell in love with. I'll I'll insert a picture of it. It was all black with the classic um, gold CC and then actually it was a champagne hardware which is absolutely stunning and I think that's going to be actually that color is on my wish list because the champagne was so pretty and when you put it up to gold it looked gold and when you put it up to silver it looked silver which is like I need that for like a handbag because it goes with everything. Um, so I held on to that little wallet on chain. I walked around the store and then I spotted this color in the classic medium flap as I was walking to the register. And I was like, I wonder if that's the iridescent pink collection that um, I saw on Steph's page. So I asked her to see it and sure enough, up close, it just had this gorgeous like shimmery pink that almost looks lilac in certain lights. Um, and it's like, it's like a chameleon. It just changes colors. And the bag was absolutely stunning, but it was in the medium size. And for the color and the texture and all of that, I just felt like I wouldn't really wear it a lot because it's a little bit harder to match. And then she showed me this baby right here. She actually thought that they had sold it earlier. That's why she didn't show it to me sooner. But I fell in love with it. I'm so happy that I picked this one. Um, so let me just show you guys a little bit about the bag. It's like the perfect size, right? So this is basically designed to be like a night bag where you don't need you don't need to put a wall in it because it does have card slots in it. So you can see it has like all the slots for cards in there. Then it has a zipper that you can put. I mean, you can put pretty much anything. The authenticity card is in here. Let me put it here so it doesn't get lost. 
So yeah, you could probably you could put anything in there. I'm not sure what I would keep in there, but then it has a little slot in the front right here. And it does expand just a little bit. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it definitely definitely expands just a tiny bit but i could definitely get my phone in here so you can see my phone even with a pop socket and this super bulky case which is like an extra battery i can literally get everything in there and it looks really nice it doesn't look too bulky and i still have a little bit of room at the top to get to like put other stuff like my lip gloss if i wanted to let's see like there's a lip gloss right here i could fit that in there and of course i can put my id and everything in there because it has slots but it is just the cutest little thing for nighttime for like a little pop of color so that's it you guys i am going to end the video here i hope you guys enjoyed unboxing this with me i'm so excited um and if you guys do like these unboxings let me know give the video a thumbs up and i can definitely do more in the future and i will talk